Hi there, this is Nick Tate. I'm super excited to be part of the new documentary, The Eagle Has Landed. An exclusive look starts now. 50 years ago, an icon was born. The Eagle Transporter is one of the greatest sci-fi spacecraft ever conceived. To this day, the design provokes an intense devotion among countless fans around the world. The question is, why? I'm writer-director Jeffrey Morris. I've been enamored with the Eagle since I first saw it in the TV series Space 1999 back in 1975. As a child who followed the Apollo program, the Eagle felt like a direct descendant of NASA's lunar module. Those transformative moon missions left an indelible impact on a generation, as did the Eagle in Space 1999. Over the years, I've discovered that I'm just one of millions of fans who has an affection for the Eagle and a nostalgia for a future we never achieved. So I'm shooting a feature documentary about the origins of this beloved ship, while also exploring its ongoing cultural impact. And I'm inviting you to join me. I'll be speaking with the Eagle's designer, visual effects wizard Brian Johnson. I'll also chat with Nick Tate, the actor who played legendary pilot Captain Alan Carter. It's going to be an epic journey as I travel around the globe to speak with Eagle aficionados and luminaries from the worlds of science and science fiction. As for myself, the visionary world building in Space 1999 blew my mind. It ultimately inspired me to become a filmmaker and production designer. I'm the creator of hard sci-fi projects such as the forthcoming deep space adventure Persephone, the apocalyptic underwater thriller Oceanus, and the universe-hopping techno fantasy Parallel Man. Now I'm bringing all of my experience and passion to the creation of this documentary. The good news is we've already begun production. We self-financed a shoot in Louisville, Kentucky at Wonderfest, where I spoke with lifelong Eagle fans from around the country. They shared passionate stories about the iconic vessel and the aspects that make it so memorable. Then I traveled to Colorado, where I interviewed Kevin J. Anderson, the best-selling author of books set in the Dune, Star Wars, and X-Files universes. He also happens to be a huge fan of Space 1999. Recently, Kevin and I co-authored the novelization of my film, Persephone. We had a blast discussing our mutual love of the Eagle and what it represents. Yet, there's still plenty left to do. I have to hire production crews at locations around the world. I also need to create visual effects and music. And of course, it all has to be edited together at a level that will rival any award-winning documentary. Now I'm asking for your assistance in completing the voyage. Check out our Kickstarter. There are tons of great rewards and even a couple of awesome stretch goals. A future began 50 years ago, and its time is now. Become a supporter of The Eagle Has Landed.